Good morning. Happy holidays. Hope everyone is doing well. Here we are coming to the end of the year. This is the last full moon, the first of winter, but the last full moon. Before we begin, just a few things. We'll start the new challenge January 1st, 10 a.m. We'll have a delayed opening next week. We're going to do 21 days of tapping the Radiant Light Challenge. Every day we're gonna come in and tap on something. Get us back in shape, get us back in alignment, our mind, our body, our emotions, our spirit. I hope you'll join me. We are moving definitely over to the teachery side. If you haven't already accessed it or having any trouble, just let me know. I think it's a little easier. It's a little more in the logical way of looking at it, but everything will be right there in the energy mastery. So today, the full moon comes in tonight, actually tonight, but I'm traveling tomorrow early, so I won't be able to do the recording tomorrow, the live training tomorrow. So we'll prepare for the energy coming in. Perhaps tonight you can also be able to go outside. Be able to go outside and really understand, look up, feel, notice. The thing about this moon is that uh, it's the home of cancer. Moon, the moon rules the sign of cancer. So it's almost like a coming home, which is perfect for the end of the year, coming back to you. What has the year been for you? I know for me, yeah, I don't know about you, but I know for me, there has been lots of up and downs, a lot of highs, lots of lows. But I do find that as I reflect on the end of this year, things have balanced out. And I'm very grateful for all the lessons I've learned, even when I didn't want to be going through them. But now as I reflect, I am grateful. I've learned a lot. My work has grown a lot. I've grown a lot. And I think that's the important part is when we can look back come into ourselves, be at home, feel all those changes and recognize sometimes even if we don't quite understand why things are happening, they will work out. We just have to trust, really access the energy, feel the emotions, don't stuff them down. This Cancer Moon will allow your emotions to open up. They really will. This uh, chime I was playing is the water. These are Koshi chimes, they're from France. A little treat to my business for such a great year. They're all attuned to one of the elements. This is water. This is the element that will feel with the moon in Cancer. The element of winter is air. I've been playing that one as well. So for you, it's like, yeah, let the water run through, clear out the emotions, let the wind come in, feel that new mindset opening up for the new year. Don't forget to change your altar. I've got a brand new candle. I've got my angels. I've got a little snow crystal. I've got white selenite angels. I've got some greenery coming in. Don't forget to do yours in the teacher site. There's a little chart that you can look at. But it is a time of reflection right now, taking the time to really sit with yourself, sit with some of those deep feelings. Our feelings are temporary. Now, if we stuff them, they'll just show up later, right? It'll be worse too. They compound. So allow yourself to breathe into whatever you're feeling them in the body right? Whatever it is. Now we're also in the sun sign of Capricorn and Capricorn is earth. So it helps to ground in what you're feeling, ground those reflections so that we don't stay all up here or stay all in our emotional body, but breathing into the heart and out of the solar plexus, as we've often done in here, will help you really to feel that place of your power and what you've learned, your worth. Capricorn actually helps us to understand more of our worth. What are you worth? A lot. I can tell you that each and every one of us is worth so much. We all have our own imprint of our soul, the lessons, our vibration. Many times we don't trust it. I know I've had that struggle for many years. Finally coming into that place of, okay, this is who I am. It's like when I finally realized I'm an artist. Okay, Tara, you can't run anymore. You're an artist. What is it for you? What are you running from? And bring that energy right into the heart, in through the solar plexus, clear it. Allow it to shine for you because that's what's really important. There was a quote I put um, in the email, Molly McCarthy, no, Molly McCord is her name. And I love to listen to her. I listen to so many, Mandy Ray, of course. But she did say that right now with this, all the astrology, all the transits, I'm not an astrologer, but all the transits, there is potential acceptance of self and others 
that set you free from past energies. I love this because it so aligns with all the work that we've been doing, a lot of the work I've been doing privately and with my clients, working in the Akashic Records, looking at those imprints, making those breakthroughs that can help us. Yes, we have to continue doing the work. It's not just like switching on a light and all of a sudden we shifted, but it's working and continuing and noticing, oh, past life. I heard myself saying that the other day, Tara, this is past life. You gonna continue it or are you gonna really acknowledge it? And we do that. We talk to ourselves, we work with our soul, we work with the energies coming in. So you may feel a little emotional, tonight, tomorrow, as this moon comes in, that's okay. Emotions are good. Crying is good. Let it out. Clear the energy. That's what we want to do. We don't want to keep holding on to it. I've had plenty of tears, especially those last few weeks before the winter solstice. It was dark. I was actually asking for it. In the Toltec tradition, we use the Black Light Mother. She really comes in and breaks up. And so I had a candle and my assignment with my teacher was to do some writing, right hand, left hand, ask a question, left hand answers, ask a question, left hand answers. I can't tell you how many times I wanted to take the pen out of the left hand. Impatience. That's one of the things that um, actually, that will be my word. Have you chosen your word? That will be my word, patience. But allowing yourself to bring up those deep, dark energies I did finally have to say, okay, Black Light Mother, enough for right now. The light is back. We'll come back to visit more of this. Sometimes we can only uncover a little bit at a time, and that's okay too, right? It really is, but I like that. I think patience will be my word. There's a need for me to slow down even more. What about you? Have patience with myself, my art. Sometimes I rush my art. So allow yourself as we go through the meditation today, allow that word for your year to come forward. Allow the reflections to come in. What can you review your life and understand more about yourself with? What is that for you? That's really where we wanna be. Where can you allow even all the lessons to really reflect? That's what the moon does in the full moon. Sun, moon reflects back to us your value, your worth, your ability to stand in your power, especially as we move into the new year. So we came out of 2023, which is seven, a spiritual year, deep hidden resources going within. Maybe you've noticed that for yourself. And we're moving into an eight year, 2024 equals eight. Eight is that abundance, infinite potential infinite potential to shine your light, to feel your worth, and to really create, co-create whatever you want to. Yes, we have to have faith to believe in that. We believe in that, that deeper part of our soul, that place where we talk about connecting in the deeper part of your heart. Co-create from there. Go into there as you move into the meditation. Become familiar with that place within you, that vibration then that opens up that breathes through the heart. So notice what you notice. Offer yourself lots of gratitude for everything you've done this year, good, bad, or indifferent. This is how we grow. The gratitude lifts the vibration. I'll have a podcast this weekend coming out and I'll be adding meditations in, um, pulling the meditations out of the podcast, but I have a beautiful meditation coming in just for today. Gratitude, looking at the year. I'll post that in the group as well. So as we begin, so let's begin, <laughs> let's begin. So as we begin, find something to light, have your journals ready. Coming to the end of mine, time for a new journal. Find a pen, find your favorite crystals, put that near you, something to light. And let us begin. <sighs> so wherever you are, if you can, Light this fire for you, your soul, your spirit, your worth. Feel that spark of energy opening up. See the colors. Be amazed when it turns into that element of air, clearing the mind, clearing the space. <sighs> Calling in the element of water. Let the water just wash right through you clearing the emotions, calling in the element of earth, grounding, centering, feeling your feet on mother earth. Taking a nice deep inhale, breathing up the body 
And as you exhale, call all your energy into you. Call it in from the whole year. Just call it all in. Feel the fullness of your life. Call in your spirit. Feel that alignment coming right on top of the physical body, bringing all your energy in. Taking another deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, dropping right into the deepest part of your heart. Right here, the deepest part, that soul spot, that God spot, feel that connection. Your spirit and the greatest spirit, God, creator. Know that you are known, know that you are loved, guided, protected, feeling all this energy coming in for you. Calling in the masters, the teachers, the archangels. Calling in your own spirit guides. Feel this energy coming in all around you. Calling in your higher self. Feel the alignment. Feel the vibrations you're creating in your sacred space right now. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale, opening the heart. So we take this time to recognize this brand new season. As I teach in the medicine wheel, we find ourselves in the direction of the north for the winter north we open our crown we find that divinity deep in our soul we go in so that we can envision from all the wisdom we bring in the envision new dreams new possibilities it's the color of white so we imagine all this beautiful white light that selenite energy allowing you to create Standing here in the direction of the north, bringing all this energy in. First we reflect to the north, the east, the south and the west, above you, below you, right here, right in the God spot. Feeling, noticing, seeing, hearing your life, your lessons, your worth. Breathe right here. In and out of the heart. Noticing. Calling in the Reiki master, sending Reiki out to you. Han sensation in, Han sensation in, Han sensation in. Empowering this energy for reflection right now. Breathing up that channel, up that radiant channel of light. Exhaling all the way back down. Absolute light comes in streams of grace, moving all the way through you. Inhaling back up from Mother Earth, all the way back up, opening up those higher dimensions. Exhaling all the way back down. Accessing these higher vibrations for your soul, your path, your worth. Feel it. See it. Hear it. Know it. And then expanding this breath, opening up through the auric field. Use this radiance to open up your light, your possibilities. This new season, this new year coming in as you take this time to reflect. As we take this time, just imagining all around this medicine wheel, all the way back around last year at this time, last spring, the growth, last summer, the amusement, the fun, the wild woman, the fall, we've just finished, the cycles of life, the releasing, the letting go, the decaying, the death, the rebirthing, the harvesting. And now here we are. Inhaling in through the heart, exhaling out through the solar plexus. <sighs> anything less than light, as we say in Reiki, anything less than light. Sahaki, sahaki, sahaki. We feel it. We learn from it. We notice. 
Just imagining all those experiences swirling all around you, open you up. What can you bring forward? And what can you cut the cords on? Clear it out, let it go. What are the words you're writing in your journal for you that express who you are, where you've been, what you're doing, that will help you envision this new year? What will that word be for you? Maybe it is worth love, joy, peace, abundance. It is an abundant year coming in. <sighs> Breathe. Notice. Feel this Reiki moving into your heart, all through the body, and out through the solar plexus. I am right here, right now. The power, your power. Inhaling, exhaling. And again, inhaling into the heart, exhaling right through the solar plexus. I am here. I am here with my soul, my spirit, my worth, my light. Honoring the cosmic forces. Keeps moving us forward. Just for today. Just for today in this very moment. What are you grateful for? Grateful for you. This group. This work reflections back to me. Just for today, I will continue to let go of the worry, the mistrust, the guilt, shame. I will honor my life, all life. In honoring my life, I will be honest with myself and all others. Just for today, I'll recognize the anger, own it, learn from it, breathe with it, grow from it. Just for today, I am grateful all these many lessons, all these many blessings, all the ups, the downs, the ins and the outs, just for today. Imagining that beautiful full moon overhead shining down. Everyone, everyone has the opportunity to be under this full moon light. We are all one. Reiki teaches us that. We're all connected in this interweb of light love, vibration, peace. Come home under this Cancer Moon. Come home to you. Be in your body. Love yourself. Love yourself even more. Take a deep inhale. And exhale right through that solar plexus. I am right here right now honoring my life, my year, cutting cords, letting go, making space for new light, new possibilities, new relationships, new work, new friendships, new growth. Just for today. Taking another deep inhale and exhale. Let this wash all through you. 
sealing this work in. Shoku Ray, Shoku Ray, Shoku Ray. And now let's just tap it right into the body. All these good vibrations. I am present. Cheeks, I am present to me. Nose and chin, infinite possibilities come in. Collarbone, I am patient. Thymus, I am healthy, alive. Underneath the armpit, I am loving me. Let's do some more rounds, saying your mantras. I am, I am, I am. Feel that nice lift of energy. I am working concisely for you. I am happy. I am proud of myself. I am worthy of all that is. I am abundant, joy, healthy, alive. I am grateful for today and every day. I am, I am, I am one more time. I am loved, I am loving, I am happy, I am full of light. I am honoring the cosmic forces right here at the karate chop point. Grounding, centering, releasing the hands. Take a breath. Exhaling all the way down. Crossing over the heart. I love you. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry for all the stress I created this year. Forgive me, but I love you no matter what. I love you. I love you. Nice big hug. I love you. Feel that worth, that value of you coming in. <sighs> Going to close. Bring the hand up to the heart. Taking a moment of gratitude. Just feel it all. We've said the words. We've written them out. Just feel it. Bring it in all around you. Gratitude for this new season. The cosmic forces. Gratitude for the spirit, the connection with the greater spirit. Gratitude for showing up for you this year. Inhaling and exhaling all the way down, grounding, centering, feeling the power of your solar plexus, being at home right here, right now, feeling the heart opening with your love, feeling that third eye beaming light for guidance, and as you're ready, blinking the eyes back open, coming back. All right, I will see you on January 1st next year. Happy holidays, all my love to you, to your spirit. Namaste.